In the last video, we demonstrated the Teleflex MBU V3 running on diesel, and I had mentioned that I had some problems with the regulator. I just wanted to make a real quick follow-up video uh, related to uh, the regulator and what I learned, and uh, maybe it could uh, save you guys some, uh, some time and money. You can buy one of these regulators uh, along with a fuel pickup and a new fuel hose, uh, new old stock, uh, for about $45. And I'll put a link in the description below where I got mine. Um, this is this ends up being really easy because you basically disconnect the fuel line, pop out those four screws, and pull the regulator out. You don't even have to drain the fuel, you just can tip it up on its side. Um, the kit comes with the regulator, the, the fuel pickup, the filter, a new o-ring, and screws. It seems like a lot of issues that we have on these units is related to the regulator. Um, the, the unit that I have uh, at first, I was not able to fire it up, so it would it would almost seem like it was going to start. It would it would get just a little pop um, when I when the igniter came on, but it wouldn't sustain. And what it looked like, it just wasn't getting enough fuel. After replacing my regulator with a new old stock unit, I thought I'd give it a shot to take the old one apart and to see if there was something in it that I could fix or really understand what the problem was. So the first thing you'll notice is this is made by um, Tillotson. Now Tillotson has made carburetors in the U.S. for over 100 years. And one of the things that they actually pioneered um, in the 1940s was uh, a diaphragm carburetor, uh, where the, the traditional float um, was replaced with a diaphragm, which allowed the carburetor to operate in uh, different orientations, so it wasn't it was no longer affected by orientation and gravity. Now I've previously had this apart to uh, have a look inside of it. Um, but essentially my diaphragm was, was extremely brittle. It wasn't quite perforated yet, but the diaphragm was br brittle. And so as soon as I took it apart, it really just fell apart. Um, the main issue on mine was that the valve was almost completely plugged with a waxy diesel residue. And so I had to take the valve out. and this little pivot. And you can see that this is just like a carburetor. The inside of this looks really, really a lot like a diaphragm carburetor. Now I looked around quite a lot to see if I could find a rebuild kit for this regulator. And I, I really couldn't find one that was uh, specified for this regulator. So I started looking around at other things that Tilliston had, had made. And uh, it looked like there's a chainsaw carburetor. Um, and it, this particular one was a, was a DG5HS um, that looks like it's a really close match. Uh, so I was able to get a rebuild kit for that one um, for about $5. And we don't need the entire rebuild kit. We, we only need the gasket and the diaphragm. And they look to be an exact match. So I will add a link to these uh, in the description. But uh, if anyone's interested in rebuilding the diaphragm for their uh, Teleflex MBU V3, uh, it's really simple and it's really inexpensive to do so.
And that should be all there is to it. We'll just put the pickup tube and the filter back on, install, and try it out.